part six, part six. Oh, I just want to point it out that we got through to Queen and I did, I did not get pulled over by the police. Winner. <laughs> Ingle key, or Ingle. Ingle key? What is that? He's the, he's the police chief who ran us. Oh, okay. I like Gary. But I've run across a few Ingle keys in the world. Not, not, not what you think would be a common name, but I've ran across it a few times. Not, not quite as common as the last name Diaz in Hispanic circles. There's a lot of people named Diaz. I bet you there's a lot of fields out there in the world, too. More than one. Isn't there a field that's a quarterback in the NFL right now? Just the field. Play for the Bears. No, play for the Bears. Bears. Oh, yeah. Boy, Bears aren't doing very well this year. No, the Bears are terrible. The Bears are terrible this year. Cowboys fiddle around and got beat. Yeah, it happens. I'm a Dallas fan. I got three world championships in my lifetime. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. People are going to hate us, but that's all right. Well, they, I, they can, they, haters are going to hate, you know. I'm, I'm a Dallas fan. I, I inherited it from my father. It's yes. Good, so. I inherited it from my grandfather. I'll have the Dallas Cowboys star on my tombstone, uh, probably. Well, you were born in East Texas. Yes. I was actually born closer to Houston than Dallas. Oh, are you? Yeah. But you're not a Texans fan? Nope, not a Texas fan. Nope. I liked the Houston Oilers back in the day. Oh, yeah. Bud Phil's birthday, 100th birthday was the other day. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I saw that. He was quite a character. Bum knew how to coach. I have to admit that. If Bear Bryant thinks you and Sid Gilman think you know your football, you must be doing something right. Yep. Well, uh, I saw a meme on his birthday that had him standing out on the standing on the edge of the field during a game, and he had his cowboy hat on, his cowboy boots, and western shirt, and I, he was doing something else. And the meme said something to the extent of if. If your coach looks like he just came in off the off the rodeo or something off off the farm from punching cattle, <laughs> he's a good football coach. Yeah, you know, I don't think there was any. I don't think there was anybody else ever like Bob Phillips on, as a football coach. Oh, uh, they're pretty unique. Jerry Glanville, I think, comes close. That's about it.